Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Neva from DualShockers.com and today we are going to look at one of the new features uh, of the Windows 10 and that's streaming from Xbox One. As you can see my Xbox One is already listed on my, on my Xbox app and I'm clicking to turn it on. It's turning on. Uh, sorry for the uh, operating system in Italian and uh, it shows my recently played games. I can simply stream, start streaming and it will start um, forgive me there, go there is going to be some background noise uh, unfortunately they are <laughs> now working uh, on the lower floor of my flat uh, and they're drilling so yeah thank you neighbors anyway um, as you can see it takes a little bit of time to synchronize um, probably it depends on different uh, settings of your home network and whatnot anyway uh, it takes a few seconds like 30 40 seconds um, as you can see um, my PC is not a very powerful one there is the dashboard as you can see my uh, my games are all there and I can start for some more sports for the horizon too and I skipped of course the loading because it's an open world game so it takes a while to <laughs> to load everything but uh, I can leave my car mate and I can drive. Um, as I was saying, my uh, PC here is not a very powerful one uh, because I have Windows 10 loaded on, uh, on my uh, secondary PC. It's not very smart to have your window, a beta preview on your primary PC because you know something could go wrong. Uh, and uh, it's not a very powerful PC and it's actually pretty old still streaming works very well um, it doesn't really require any uh, super powerful rig to, to work uh, this is an AMD uh, Phantom 2 uh, quad core with a GTX 660 uh, and 8 gigabytes of RAM um, and uh, I'm driving normally uh, I'm actually using an Xbox 360 controller on my uh, PC and you really feel the difference with the Xbox one control is so much better and Here comes the drilling from the neighbors. I'm sorry um, And as you can see I'm, I'm driving normally And they are drilling normally on the background um, But yeah, everything works well uh, the graphics are look good uh, there is slight bit of artifacting, but it's almost invisible and Jump uh, Oh my god a wall I avoided the wall and I'm going right right against the tree fail Anyway, this was Forza Horizon 2. It worked pretty well So it's time to move to something else. Uh, I actually have to click on the button uh, on the top of the screen to bring up the home menu because the embargo button on the controller uh, the one with the Xbox symbol actually brings up the game DVR bar on the on Windows so you have to use the, the, the mouse to bring up the menu for the moment so now it's time to try Gears of War Ultimate Edition the beta so if you haven't seen the beta yet it's a good chance to see it as well streamed on PC uh, the PC streaming is not yet available for everyone it's available only to those that have both the uh, preview uh, program of the Xbox one uh, the latest version and the um, of course uh, the insider preview of uh, Windows 7 Windows 10 um, which is going to come out at the end of July I mean the the actual operating system um, and it's going there is going to be a free upgrade but if you are on Windows 7 and on Windows 8 uh, nothing if you are on Windows XP sorry but the upgrade is actually pretty nice uh, I'm not totally sure if it's going to be the same for the release version of the game uh, but uh, it's uh, at the moment I didn't even have to format my hard disk I just had to it, ju it just carried over it did the installation over my old data it recovered all the drive it installed all the drivers by itself and it took a while it took like about 
an hour to do the installation it was an old an older pc as well uh but yeah um it installed seamlessly it were very pain painless uh, as you can see uh, uh gears of war works really well looks really good on xbox one uh, it, it even doesn't even looks like it's the same game uh, i'm also not very good at shooters but um that's another story for another day uh, I'm more like an RPG or, or driving game guy even if I go against trees and Forza Horizon <laughs> as you can see everything works pretty well and there isn't very much artifact in it of course it looks a little better on the, ex uh, the actual Xbox one uh, but just a little it looks very good on, on, on PC oops I'm dead and it's time to move to something else uh, so let's go back to the home menu and let's try something else <laughs> it's always a little difficult to, to remember to move from the mouse to the controller again uh, and let's try titanfall again i'm skipping a little bit of loading and all the selection of the match and whatnot so you don't have to sit through uh, a ton of menus that are really very relevant and here we are playing Titanfall normally uh, and it looks pretty good as well um, the thing that I've noticed uh, is that on Titanfall there is, a, there is a little bit more artifacting on the screen than in Forza Horizon or in Gears of War Forza Horizon and Gears of War looked perfect almost perfect um, Titanfall looks a little bit more marred by artifacts i'm not sure why of course there is no official information on that so uh, we have no way to know the reason uh my i have a couple of theories one could be that um the there is a lot more going on, on screen everything is much faster in uh, titanfall so it's quite possible that this influences the streaming in some way just try this the pixel just moves so fast that it's that possibly it, they they uh, they create more artifact uh, another possibility is that uh, Titanfall is not 180p uh, 1080p native so the Xbox one is already upscaling the screen and the upscaler could be uh, could be um, affecting the 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 codec for the streaming I'm not sure so don't take it as gold it's just my terror it's just my speculation uh, but yeah it looks a little bit worse as quality of the stream than the previous two games uh, for the rest though it's perfectly play playable perfectly fast there is really no not much input lag uh, it's almost the same as as uh, as it was uh, on Xbox One, besides the fact that I'm playing with a terrible, terrible controller in comparison, like the Xbox 360 controller was pretty good, but compared to the Xbox One controller, is there is an enormous difference, really. But still, uh, there is no no real input lag. I'm also my, my my Xbox One and my PC are pretty close; they are in the same room, uh, but still and my aim is terrible as you can see I, I, I needed two shots to kill this guy that was just standing there but still mm, now I'm going to fail really badly uh, at at doing a titan drop on this guy I tried, I tried to drop my titan on that guy uh, by the way I'm recording the audio after the the video so that's why I, I know what's going to happen but yeah I died like an idiot too and um, as you can see though it's playable perfectly playable it would be much playable much better if there was someone better shooters than me at the controls but you know uh, it still works i have to say this feature is much more useful for someone that has um, a, um, a pc uh, in a different room compared to your their Xbox One, so they can play the, their game on a different room. Of course, my my, my gaming equipment is all uh, is all focused and in the same room. But still, um, 
by the way there is no audio from the game in this video because uh, I've recorded um, the video uh, with Nvidia Shadowplay on my PC I tried a ton of ways, a ton of settings there was no way to record the audio from streaming from the console but the audio worked perfectly uh, while I was trying it like it, it worked perfectly from my PC speakers I could hear it and there was really no, not much of a degradation in quality too um, so that was not a problem it's just the fact that I could not record it uh, possibly because my my uh, Nvidia Shadowplay did not identif identify this as a game I'm not sure but still the, the audio was there it's just not there in this video unfortunately uh, you just you just have to bear with it and yeah we've been defeated but who is surprised I wasn't really putting putting much more effort not it would make much of a difference let's see back of course uh, the enemy is blocking my way so what better way than to jump on a titan right it's totally going to go right oops not really so that's it for titanfall did not work i mean the game worked uh, i am not working but still let's try something totally different mass effect uh, this is emulated from the Xbox 360, another new feature, uh, so you can see a little bit of the emulation as well. Uh, we tried this in a previous video two days ago. Um, but yeah, uh, it, uh, it emulates perfectly the Xbox 360. It actually persuades the, the game to think that it's running on an Xbox 360, so it works perfectly on an Xbox One. Uh, and I... Uh, the game actually launches as you can see it actually has the, the splash screen on the xbox 360 and it launches without any problem so this is actually pretty funny and it's a pretty funny uh, cycle because i am playing an xbox 360 game emulated on xbox one and streamed to pc now it, it just lo it actually logs you into xbox live from the xbox 360 from the emulated xbox 360 and here we are start screen normal uh, there is not much to, to skip here uh, because loading is pretty fast uh, and here it is uh, I'm just resuming the the um, the gameplay I did yesterday for the for uh, the video on emulation and uh, here we are it's 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 going on it's playing normally without any problem a little bit of pop-up there but i don't think it's <laughs> it's the streaming's fault it's possibly the emulation but i don't remember if it was the same on xbox 360 um, but it works without any problem um, from xbox 360 to xbox one to pc well it's an emulation on xbox one to pc i'm actually playing this game uh, on PC which is funny because I could simply play it play it on PC because th that's what I'm doing because I'm trying to replay the same the try the trilogy uh, on PC uh, before Aurora comes out will take time but <laughs> I have plenty of time to finish it <laughs> like five or six times over but yeah uh, the the feature works really really well uh, even in uh, in conjunction with emulation so you can actually stream your xbox 360 games to pc um, again the emulation is not yet available on uh, for everyone it will be this holiday season actually the coding and the crypting and locks is different on 360 on pc so i'm going to fail at this really terribly it's actually much easier on pc for me yeah, override field. Oh, sorry. I'm not going to go too much ahead, too too much further here, because I don't want to spoil the story. If you want to play the trilogy too before you played Aurora in next holiday season, uh, holiday season 2016, about time. So yeah, 
This is in, this is an Xbox 360 game emulated on Xbox One and streamed to PC, Windows 10. You can look forward to Windows 10 in July and let's hope the launch goes smoothly because <laughs> launching an operation in an operating system is not easy. So on this dramatic scene we can end our demo and go back to the uh, to the home menu again by clicking on the top of the screen and there we are and from here we can uh, interrupt streaming actually we can interrupt the streaming from everywhere and since it's a beta it's ask you to, it asks us to evaluate the experience and uh, but i didn't do it because i had to finish here and i can turn off my console from here and it will turn off at the xbox one so thank you very much for listening thank you very much for watching sorry for the background noise sorry for <laughs> the lack of audio and thank you very much for listening. This is Japan Alva from Dual Shockers and signing out.